This is a video that a lot of you guys have been asking me to do for a while. Signal versus Telegram. One of them is an incredible end-to-end -end encrypted tool, and one of them is a tool for the government. Now, that might be a little harsh, but I'm going to break this down. You're going to want to stay to the end of this video and buckle up because we're going to break down encrypted messaging. Let me know down below in the comments if there's other apps you want me to break down. We're going to be doing head-to-head -head wars for privacy tools and security tools here on Privacy X. So buckle up for Operation The Real Encrypted App. So let's start with Signal, this app right here. Now, end-to-end -end encrypted, and that is vital. If you use text messaging or you use most chat apps, text apps, talking apps, you're being spied on. That's just a fact. They're, they're basically tracking and logging your metadata, your location, your GPS data, and the messages themselves. I mean, text messages might as well be public record. So keep that in mind. Now, quick disclaimer before I do get into this, I do want to say that there is no such thing as the perfect chat app, the perfect text app. So understand that when you're utilizing these tools. Now, I'm going to start with two of the most popular, Signal and Telegram, and we're going to break down a whole plethora of Signal apps and messaging apps and technological apps because I think this is important and the average person is sold a bill of goods. Signal is end-to-end -end encrypted, but the biggest problem with Signal is they require a phone number. Now, how do you get around that? Well, what I typically recommend people do is utilize a dummy phone number. So I have three Signal accounts, and each one of them has either a dummy pseudo number. You can use pseudo, this app, or Google Voice, this app. You might be thinking, Google, it's a dummy Google Voice app. I use VirtualBox, uh, Hoonix, and Tor to structure everything. So basically it's a throwaway verification number. Now, not all apps accept VoIP numbers, right? So these, these VOIP numbers, but Signal does. So that's an important thing. And that's one of the biggest drawbacks. Signal has had some negative attention for some things. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. Signal had a huge come up when all this stuff happened with WhatsApp because WhatsApp is one of the worst options. No, I will not be doing a video on WhatsApp because if you're using WhatsApp, you clearly do not care about privacy or security. Plan to be hacked, plan for your identity to be stolen. WhatsApp is trash, but I digress. Signal is open source and that is vital. Open source is vital for tools like this and that's what you want. They do have the self-destruct feature, meaning you can schedule messages to disappear after a specific amount of time. I always recommend that all of you use that feature. It's a good feature to use, but if it wasn't open source, it wouldn't matter because they could actually log everything. But since it's been audited, we know that there is no log. Speaking of logs, they actually put out transparency logs, which is pretty cool. A lot of your favorite VPNs used to do the same thing, but since many VPNs have been going downhill, I've been doing some videos on some of the best VPNs because some of the best ones from the past have been bought by foreign national government controlled companies, but they do transparency logs, which was a standard practice in the VPN business and now is a standard practice for them also logging metadata. They don't log your traditional metadata, which is pretty cool. And there is no IP logs. This is vital. You might be thinking, Cody, I don't care about IP logs because I use a VPN. I just told you that most VPNs are logging people nowadays. Some of the biggest VPNs like NordVPN, ExpressVPN have fallen off a cliff when it comes to being a viable tool. In fact, I don't recommend them at all anymore to anybody because they're both garbage and they're both tracking tools. They no longer protect you. You pay to be logged in one central place and the conglomerate that owns them has access to your data. When you have an encrypted tunnel, the person who provides that tunnel is the only person that has your IP. Now, if there's no logs and it's done properly like Mulvad, then you're in pretty good shape. But if it's done horribly like Nord or Express, especially Express, then it's going downhill, right? And so that's what you got to keep in mind. The other thing is PFS for text. Now, you need to have a protocol, you need to have encryption, and this is vital. So signal for a free tool. Keep in mind, if something's free, you are the product. For a free tool, Signal is about as good as you're going to get for average convenience and use. And Signal has a big user base, and it's real easy to get on Signal. Is it perfect? No. 
but is it better than most? Yes. So I'm going to get back to Signal in a second. We want to talk about Telegram. Telegram is in, in encrypted, or are they? Well, Telegram was actually a Russian company, which is fine. I'm not saying that they're automatically a spy because they're a Russian company. And I'm not talking about what's going on in the world right now with Russia and the Ukraine and the teetering WW3 that we are uh, hopefully going to avoid. But I'm talking about some serious issues. Now, there are some cons. The number one con, like all of these apps, is phone number. The same way you get around phone number with Signal, you can get around with Telegram. So really, we're comparing apples to apples right off the bat. Signal's big con, phone number. That's pretty pathetic to add a phone number for a privacy tool. My signals are all in alias names with dummy phone numbers. But it's still a, a hurdle you have to overcome. They should just out of the gate realize that you're looking for privacy and don't want to give them a bunch of data. But of course they do not. Now, end to end is for secret chat only. So when you say, oh, it's end -to -end, Telegram's end to end encryption. No, it's not. It's only for secret chats. You, you're not going to be encrypted group chats and there's actually a lot of features on telegram that are not encrypted also the thing with telegram is the servers are not open source why because the servers do logging now the logs came out and telegram logs ips you might be saying i use a vpn but again telegram has been linked to other vpn companies so we're going to do a deeper dive into this but telegram literally logs ips and even if you use a vpn depending upon what VPN you use, they could have your, v your, your actual logs right there. Also, Telegram does geolocation and metadata, which is one of the worst things possible. Telegram is not even remotely a privacy tool. The irony is Telegram is being used to track people in crypto. If you're in crypto and you're using Telegram, that is insane. You're basically building a case against yourself and a database against yourself. I recommend all of you in crypto, delete your Telegrams and try to wipe it and flush it immediately because you're gonna see it. Mark my words, mark this video. Some people say, oh, Cody, you're crazy. Mark my words, you're gonna see the government start using Telegram. That's gonna be the one tool they start using to track down and hunt people for crypto. I would never use Telegram for crypto. Ironically, a lot of these crypto coins are using Telegram. Why? Because these crypto companies aren't worried about privacy. They're worried about pump and dumps. Crypto is not what it was supposed to be. And I've been saying this, the privacy coins are in their own basket. Everything else is going to be de-anonymized and centralized, which is what the governments want. And even if it's decentralized, it is going to be de-anonymized based on the blockchain technology. That is not what you want when the governments are releasing AI bots to come after you. And Telegram is a tool to be able to usher that in. Now, we all know the Russian government is the kings of spying. And there's been a lot of rumors to Telegram's nefarious activities. They do have a custom MT protocol, which is actually pretty good. So if you are doing their secret chats, now you might be saying, well, Cody, I can't do the group, group chats. I can't do the crypto groups because that would just be foolish. If you're in crypto and using Telegram, I recommend you delete it now unless you're a ghost obviously at privacy x we teach people how to be actual ghosts which is what everyone should be with the social credit scores coming in and the government's tracking and hunting people who use crypto for taxes all the way back to 2010 also for unrealized capital gains and all the other stuff that's coming down the pike the social credit score you need to ghost out quickly you can check out the first thing down below for that but beyond that i do recommend that you don't use telegram period i don't use telegram at all i've had one in the past it was all dummied out and even then it was more work than it was worth, so I don't recommend Telegram. And I've, I've long since got rid of mine altogether. And even the one I had was a dummy account from day one, and it still sucked. I think Telegram is one of the worst tools. Be in all fairness, it does have open source apps. So some of you are gonna say, well, Cody, isn't Telegram open source? No, see, Telegram is a tricky company. They're using KGB rules over there. They have open source apps. But the servers themselves aren't open source because that's how they're able to log, track, stock, store data, and you have no recourse. Like Signal's open source, their servers are not open source. Signal is a full open source software. Now, the, they do have popular features like self-destruct, but self-destruct is everywhere. I mean, even full tracking devices will have self-destruct because once the message comes through, that millisecond, it could be stored and logged. So if you self-destruct it, that means nothing. It's already on the server. And that's what people don't get. People are so pumped over self-destruct. Self-destruct is meaningless if you look at a logging perspective because 
The second it comes on the server, it's stored. So if you self-destruct it in one minute or one hour or one day, that doesn't matter from a logging perspective. Now, from a hacking perspective, self-destruct is always good. But from a logging perspective, the logging is already done. So it really doesn't matter. And the other thing is they do have pretty good two-factor. So I will say, once you're in Telegram, it's actually pretty good. And this is the confusion. A lot of people are like, Cody, Telegram's great. No, it sucks. It, it has great privacy. It has decent security. Once you're in Telegram, Telegram security is actually decent, but their privacy for you sucks. You are their product. They're tracking you, they're stalking you, they're selling your data predominantly for crypto. And you know that Russia is a massive server farm for Bitcoin and other mining cryptos. And they're taking this data and extorting the crypto they can. Russia is back into a corner now where they're gonna start extracting, seizing, and stealing crypto through cyber crimes and cyber wars because they're gonna have no choice. Have you seen what's happened to the rubles? Have you seen Russian's currency? It's, it's in free fall. Look at this, it is in free fall. So keep that in mind with everything that's going on. Would I use Telegram? No, Telegram is one of the worst tools. It's not even a private tool. It barely makes this list. And in my opinion, it's barely better than WhatsApp. The only reason it makes this list over WhatsApp is because WhatsApp, I mean, let's be real, a Facebook tool, that's never gonna make any of my lists. That's the worst thing possible. But Telegram's not far behind. And for some reason, Telegram got popular in the crypto community, which is ludicrous. Now, there are a lot of, a lot of other privacy and security tools you can use and we're gonna break them down let me know down below which ones you want to see i've already got a list of a few i've got a really cool one coming out tomorrow so make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will keep putting this out for you guys appreciate you guys checking out this video have an amazing day delete your telegram if you don't want to be stalked by governments and use it against you in the case against taxes and the ai bots and uh try signal and some other tools that don't stalk you in the same way. Appreciate you checking this out. Go on in everything you do, and I'll see you guys in the next video.